In the world of NFT and crypto, there's never a hotter topic than what something is going to cost. With Wave 2 of Alluvian Beyond fast approaching, it's probably no surprise that the conversation of price has been a hot topic, particularly when it comes to the alpha sale. For those who are new to the Alluvian Beyond scene, alphas are Alluvium's versions of first edition, the first run of Alluvatars in each wave. In the very first alpha sale, there were 20,000 alpha megadiscs available at about $250 a piece, and 100,000 alpha standard discs available at about $50 a piece. Now, while the megas did eventually sell out over the three-day sale, only about 20k of the alpha standards sold during that time, far from the sellout that everyone was hoping for. In the extended Wave 1 sale, about 121,000 standard discs have been sold at about $10 a piece, whereas roughly 65,000 mega discs were sold at about $50 a piece. So now that the numbers have been laid out for Wave 1, what does Wave 2 look like? Well, just hours ago, our newly elected marketing sub-council member, Fight for ETH, posted a proposal for community feedback. In ICCP 8, the marketing subcouncil suggesting both the supply and a price change to that of alphas, while maintaining the current price of standard and megas when it comes to the extended sale. In this version of the proposal, it wouldn't matter if you're buying alpha or regular discs, the price would be the same. The sale would start off with 25,000 alpha standard discs at about $10 a piece, and 5,000 alpha mega discs for about $50 a piece. The main consideration here is that by lowering the price to be the same as the regular discs, we'll encourage people to be ready to buy at the start of the sale, which personally, I'm totally on board for. This to me reduces the gatekeeping of alphas, making anyone in the community who is going to participate in Alluvian Beyond anyway, able to pick one up. Since the price would remain the same for all discs, there'd be no specific day for the sale of alphas to end. And alpha discs would instead be on a first come, first serve basis. Now, once alpha discs are sold out, then we just have a seamless transition to the purchase of regular discs. And that's pretty much the bare bones of the proposal. One aspect to this proposal that I really appreciate seeing that I hadn't noticed in previous proposals was that not only did the subcouncil mention that they sought out opinions and options from a variety of sources, but they shared those sources along with the outcomes of those conversations. And unsurprisingly, not everyone agreed on how the proposal should go. Aaron and Perry expressed their preference for keeping the sale quantities the same as wave one, but they also acknowledged the possibility of a strategic reduction. They proposed an overall price reduction across the board to address the pricing imbalance that we observed in Wave 1. Where, on the other hand, Johnny highlighted the general decrease in value of alphas and suggested that there should be a reduction both in quantity and price, adding more long-term value to those who get alphas. The Strategy Subcouncil proposed a significant reduction in prices across all Alluvatars, with alphas priced at approximately two times that of non-alphas. So in their idea, they had standards at about $6, megas at about 30, alpha standard at 12, and alpha megas at 60. What's great about this is it shows all the avenues that the council's already considered. It helps give the community a full picture as well as a jumping off point to add in their arguments that might not have been considered by the council. And that's the nice part about being in a DAO. This is just a proposal and currently up for community feedback. So nothing is set in stone yet. If you'd like to have your voice heard, I'll provide a link to the Discord discussion in the comments below. For those of you who can't get into the Discord or would rather not, feel free to drop your opinions in the comments below. And as a member of the Community Subcouncil, I will make sure that your opinions are heard and known. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the overworld.